For Golden Arms Colors, innovation has been our, our second name. We receive dozens of phone calls every, every day, thousands of requests uh, during the year for new products, new product development, and we listen. Well, today uh, we have two new, not just new products, but two new product platforms to be able to introduce to you today, our new Golden Open Acrylics and our new Golden Digital Mixed Media products. And uh, we really do think it's going to provide an exciting opportunity for our retail partners, for our entire uh, art material industry, as well as for your customers in engaging with these, with these products. First, I'll introduce the Open Acrylics. Again, a new product platform. This product range truly extends the possibilities uh, of working with acrylic, acrylic paint. This is the new Open Acrylic, and it's called Open because it has an, a very long open working time, very relaxed working time. Um, it's, uh, it, it's important to remember that it's just an acrylic, so it works with every, all the other acrylics, all the gels and all the fluids and all the heavy body, they can all be mixed together. Um, I think one of the great things about the Open is it kind of closed the circle with um, acrylic in the sense that one of the most difficult things to do with acrylic was to actually do those smooth blends because it dries very quickly. So this has kind of opened up acrylic to artists who really want to do a more traditional soft blend. Um, one of the great ways to, I think, think about how this kind of works in the family of acrylics is to take a, this little three step-by-step -step painting. For instance, this is using the uh, traditional fluid colors with water and kind of doing a quick imprimatura and underpainting, getting your uh, shake set. That, that dries very quickly. So then you can go and if you want to work up the detail and the very smooth, soft blending, that's where the open comes in. It, it gives you uh, a long, uh, long time to work the work the paint, uh, work it together. Use uh, sable brushes, fan blenders, all the traditional kinds of applications for sort of it, traditional oil painters used all these. And then after this dries, if you want to go back in, and finish your painting even more quickly, you could go back and paint over it and use the um, heavy body painter, the fluids, and do dry brush work it back or mix them together and adjust your drawing time. So it's one of the great advantages of the fluids, I mean of the, uh, the open colors. This um, paint on the palette was put out at 11 a.m. yesterday morning and this is still very wet. <laughs> yeah, this is acrylic. <laughs> so you can leave this out overnight or cover it and you palette, I mean it saves a lot of paint because if this was a heavy body paint, of course this would overnight would be would be dry. So there are three mediums with the uh, open. There's uh, open thinner, there's the medium and a gel. Um, these also can be mixed with all the other acrylics but the thinner is more like a retarder. Uh, you can use this to thin down the open. You can use it to uh, when, it, when it begins to dry a little bit on your painting, if you want to um, get some more fluidity with the paint, just put the thinner in, and that will sort of re-wet it, I think is, a, is it probably a better way. And you can see how this feels, without, without actually having it in your hand, it feels very different from all other acrylics. Very smooth, very sweet, uh, lower viscosity, so you can keep working it. So this is great for painters who work really large and want to work all over the canvas. Let an area sit over here, go over here, come back. Plain air painters, take this palette out, work outside all day without having to refresh the palette. Um, water, it's just, it's just an acrylic. Um, then there's the open gel, which is the same viscosity as the open acrylic. So that really basically extends it. It's a gloss, it dries gloss, so it just gives it a gloss. If you wanted to thicken this, you wanted really thick applications, you would um, take like the heavy gel gloss and use, uh, you could use mix that with the open paint and that would uh, 
cut this drying time in about half, but also give you texture. So it all it all works together. In any one year, a company is lucky to bring one real true product innovation. This year, we've been fortunate to be able to bring two new product innovations. Our digital uh, mixed media products, this product is not just a, a new product, but again, a whole new way of working, investing and looking at a whole new opportunity for artists uh, to be able to engage with real, real paint. Again, another new product platform. Within this introduction of what I think are the most complete systems of products available for artists working in uh, digital media, artists can go back and forth between the virtual world of the computer and real paint. The products that were used to create all these different examples are digital grounds, and we have three digital grounds. Uh, one is a white mat that'll give you um, a gesso-like surface, and then the other two are clear. One will give you a uh, for porous surfaces, and one is for non-porous surfaces. Okay. So, the easiest way to think about this, we'll start with a. Um, this is a black ink paper. It's a silver metallic paper. And normally, you can't print. You can't just put this type of paper through an inkjet printer because it won't receive the ink. So this is, shows the difference between the paper as it comes by itself, and then this side we coated it with the digital ground clear. So you can see that you get a much better image with the digital ground applied to that paper. So that's an example of that. Or you can take, well, it's an ink receptive ground. That's the design so that it um, receives the ink. It gives the ink something to hold on to because normally a smooth surface the ink doesn't have anything to hold on to, so that's why it just dissipates. And that, like something like aluminum foil, the ink doesn't have anywhere to go. The ground allows it to have something to grab a so hold how does of. It, come? Does that, do you... it comes in a bottle, like this. This is the digital ground white mat, and so you can just pour that. You just pour it on, brush it out. It's very forgiving. You don't have to worry about bubbles or anything at levels. So you put this in the inkjet printer or, or you yep. iron it on? And then, so the next thing, once you've prepared it, is if you tape it down, use painter's tape, like a low-tack tape. Uh -huh. 3M has one. Uh -huh. There's different companies that make them. So, And then you just tape it to a regular piece of paper. Tape it down. That's what holds it in place because a printer expects to see paper, right? So we're saying, hey, this uh -huh. is paper. And then you just put it in the printer and print, and it comes out looking like this or any of these examples. So this is acrylic ground for pastels. This is one of our other products. So you can use it on paper or paper towel or metal foil, or you can go further and you can create an acrylic skin. This is uh, iridescent silver. And I just laid it out on a, like a garbage bag or wax paper, something that acrylic paint won't stick to. I just laid out the color, let it dry, and then I peeled it up and I put the, the digital ground on it, brushed it out, and then taped it to the printer paper and printed on it. I really invite you to, to take a look and see what kinds of opportunities. We really do believe this is going to pr provide some of those exciting opportunities for our art material retail partners as well as all of